Hi dolls. Today I'm going to be restoring this gal. This is a Titian bubble cut Barbie. The smaller hair and markings on her butt tell me without a doubt that this doll came out somewhere around 1961 to 1962 and is a first edition. Obviously, there is major paint loss in the face, especially the eyebrows, which are completely gone. Her condition is not the worst I've seen considering, but she needs some work. First, we're going to wash away all the gunk using a degreasing soap. I am using a soft cloth. I am a few of the lucky ones that got a bubble cut whose head hasn't gone sticky, but it has attracted lots of dust regardless. For the body, I give her a good wash using a toothbrush. After towel drying her, I put some water in a plastic container and drop a few denture tablets to soak her limbs in. Denture tablets lighten darkened limbs and bring them to the original color. It's a very hit or miss process, but luckily this time it came out great. And it even removed some of the stains on her legs. For the next split, I used a tiny little drop of flexible super glue, and I held the head together until everything was dry. You'll have some squeeze out, it's inevitable, but nothing a little acetone can fix. Next, we'll be dealing with the missing nose tip. For this, I am using clear UV acrylic nail gel. I apply the tiniest amount to the area with the toothpick. Then I put it under the UV lamp to cure for two minutes. Mine was still tacky after the first two minutes, so I cured it again. I know I'm gonna receive comments about this, so I'll just address it right here. The nail gel dries completely clear. You will not be able to see it. To prep her for her face up, I first made a template for the eyebrows using some clear warbler. I heat it up to soften it. And I mold it around another doll's face, one with eyebrows. Everything you see me do here is just to ensure that the warbler is as close to the face as possible. This will not mold 100% around her face, but it will give me some reference points, such as the nose, the chin, and the eyes. I drew the reference points on very badly with a sharpie. I then copied the eyebrows with acrylic paint, as the tiny brush is more accurate. I then cut out the eyebrows with a utility knife, And then I can use this as a stencil. Next, I spray her head with monotorum varnish. And obviously, don't forget your protection. Spraying her with varnish will also get rid of the shiny nose, making it virtually undetectable. After she is fully dry, I go in and paint the tip of the eyebrows using my stencil. This is not 100% accurate as I said earlier. It just gives me a starting point. She does have some remnants of the original eyebrows left, so wherever I can, I try to follow that as my guide.
Next, I go in and fill in the gaps on her lips with a coral red color. The sealant we've applied before will ensure nothing will bleed into the plastic over the years. Next, I deal with her eyelashes, which are always my favorite part. You may have noticed that her face paint is all slightly off-centered. I, however, did not want to go and redo anything, so I stuck to the guidelines the doll had without altering anything. Next, I refreshed her nail and toe polish. And I sealed it. For her dress, I am going to make her a sheath dress out of this dark green taffeta fabric. The sewing pattern for this dress, complete with all the instructions, is going to be up on my Etsy shop, so make sure you check out the link in my description if you're interested. Lastly, I combed through the mane and freshened up her curls. And that is it. Don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram where I'm gonna share some really important news in the coming months. Thank you so much for following me and I'll see you soon.